Our garden is full of beauty, and it's easy to see it all when you look closely amidst the lush greenery. Despite the unusually cold weather, nature keeps pushing forward. It's the end of May, and we are in our second season at the country house. And we just received a package from my mom. She sent us a lot of flowers to help us transform this field into a meadow, as we've been planning. So I'm gonna start here in the middle of our field to allow the plants to spread into all directions. I finished planting all the flowers here. I put all different kinds here in this one spot in the middle of our field. So it could be really pretty if they all survive and flower at some point. So they are going to blossom? Yeah. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. Me too. We found out that one of our trees is heavily damaged here. I don't know what it is. I guess there were some insects maybe living inside and then maybe some birds ate them. What do Probably, you think? yeah, looks like it. Anyway, we bought this special wax that should help the tree heal. It includes also honey wax, apparently. So let's try. So we spread it all over the wounds and I don't know, let's hope for the best. Tommy's day at the office in our living room is over yes. and we had a delivery, so it's planting time. Yes, it's time for my favorite activity. So what do we have here? Uh, we have about 20 shrubs again here. Uh, it's more of the same, different types of the same kinds. So we have more Saskatoon berries, chokeberries, I think, mulberries and more. time. Cheers. Cheers. I prepared mint tea. Mm -hmm. It's very minty. That's what I was aiming for because we have enormous amounts of mint so... And flies. Oh flies are there as well? <laughs> yeah with a touch of flies. <laughs> very nutritious. Mm -hmm. I recommend. It's not vegetarian tea unfortunately. <laughs> so this is a very strong tea. It has a kick. And we are done. Yay! Another 20 or so shrubs are successfully planted. Uh -huh. And it was quite fast because we are a great planting team. Yeah, perfect cooperation. Totally. Look, we have a rainbow, but it's disappearing, so it's not visible anymore. <laughs> but believe us, it was there. It was spectacular. Like whole half circle. But oh well. You should have been there, guys. It was just for a few seconds, I don't know. Because this shower, rain shower, is dissipating. And that's why the rainbow is disappearing. Fascinating. So sad. I was here and I was running to bring Tommy. <laughs> and the camera. And the camera, but in a minute it's gone. Mm. That's why I'm here in the middle of our field in slippers. The sun is setting. Look, it's a very nice light. Okay, so this was a failure. Totally worth running back to the field. <laughs> uh,
guys, the rainbow is back. <laughs> I see the whole thing. <laughs> Peter asked me to immediately sprint back to the field so that we could film it for you. It's still not very strong, but at least it's visible. There is something. So hopefully we got it this time on camera. Guys, life with a meteorologist is really exhausting. <laughs> There is this rapeseed field quite close to our property and we've been planning to come here for almost a week now but we've been waiting for better conditions because it was very cold and overcast all the time. I wanted to capture the contrast of the yellow field and blue sky and that wasn't possible but finally today <laughs> for a few hours a sun decided to show up. So here we are! Ta -da! <laughs> Bee attack. <laughs> there are a lot of honeybees flying everywhere around us, buzzing and yeah. it's interesting. So I think it's very good for them. But I heard that it might not be so good. What? Because there's so much pollen in the flowers that they are completely covered in it, the Ooh. bees. And they are then so heavy that they cannot fly away. Wow. But maybe it's just a rumor. I've never looked it up. It's just something someone told me once. Uh huh. So it's like when you put a lot of cakes in front of me <laughs> and then I eat and eat and eat. And... and then I have to roll you over away to the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. We found this bench, I don't know what it's called in English, and we have nice views over the rapeseed field here. Yeah. So we are enjoying it for a moment before we head back. Look at our lilac. It's beautiful. Yeah. And the lilacs smell very nice. This one as well. Mm, such a sweet smell. Yeah, we can smell it all the way here. <laughs> yeah, <gasps> of course. But we have to be careful because look at these nettles. <laughs> so tall already. It's crazy. It's like a jungle. But we need to enjoy this because it will be over soon as everything. Nothing lasts forever. A quick pumpkin and zucchini update. This is the only plant that's still at least half alive. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look too well. Yeah, but it's trying. There's a new part growing here. <laughs> there were two problems, or maybe three problems. The first problem was that they were not uh, used to sunshine. So when I planted them, even though it was under a cloud, uh, they still didn't like it. Then one or two nights it was freezing a little bit uh, at the ground level. And in addition, uh, the, the slug invasion came and even though we tried to put the slug candy here, I guess they ate it all because there were so many of them and they still ate the pumpkins as well. Yeah, I think the slugs are the biggest disaster. Probably. But we put more candy for them here. I still see it's here, so they haven't come again since then. Mm -hmm. We'll see if it will survive. But the others are dead, pretty much. Yeah. It doesn't look like... Maybe this one is still trying, but it looks terrible. Mm -hmm. I already planted new ones in pots in our yard, uh, so the slugs couldn't eat them. And they are growing from the beginning from seed outside, so they should be used to the sunshine as well. Mm -hmm. So hopefully the second batch will be more successful. Yeah. I'm going to create chickpea spread for our lunch. It's kind of like hummus, but it's not really hummus. I don't want to offend anyone. 
I don't really care about the terminology, so yeah. We need chickpeas. I cooked the chickpeas. Now I'm going to pour the water away. I used dried chickpeas, not the canned ones. Garlic. I'm going to put it here. Now olive oil. Just an approximate amount. I don't really know how much, <laughs> according to your taste. And we don't have tahini, so I'm going to use sesame seeds. Because tahini is sesame paste, uh -huh. so it's basically the same. <laughs> it's a mixture of white and black sesame, right? Yeah, 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 this is a mixture because we have this special black sesame seeds as well. So I'm going to you know, powder them, grind them into a powder, add it here. And now we just need to season it with salt. I use a bit of paprika. And we need to blend it into a spread. So let's do that. And it's really thick, so to make it thinner, I guess, we are going to add water. And that's it. You just create the consistency you want. We can make it even thinner, but I think this is okay. Let me taste it. No, it's tasty. So I think our spread is ready. Yeah. The prettiest is to add chive flowers because they are purple. Ours are not in full bloom yet, so it's not as pretty as it could be. But if you have some, then add them and it looks nice. <laughs> I love that the sun started shining for our lunch. Yeah, finally. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I wish you guys could taste it, it's delicious. And that's it for now. Give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. And see you next time. Bye!